Hello friend, welcome back. In your previous video here, we successfully get all that our block category data. Right now, I don't have any data for the reasons it's not totally blank. So now friend, in this video, I want to add some of the block category data. So if you want to do that work that is in our sidebar, first of all, we have to go to our sidebar and into the sidebar. Now I want to create on the new route for our add block category. I simply name it as a route route name. I name it as a add, add block category. Now we have to do, we have to create it. Our process is very simple. Now I want to, do, I want to create in our web route. So that will be another get method. I copy it and then I paste it. Okay. So right now I name as add block category. So that will be as a add block category, right? That will be as add block category and our URL will be as a add block category. I want to create another new method as a add block category. So into this add block category, simply I want to do, I want to load one of the page. I simply copy it and now in our block category controller. So into this block category controller, now I want to create another new method that will be the same as a public and function sorry function and then our method name as a add block category okay so that will be our and one and also i want to do and return some of the data simply i want to do and return on the view page right now here we don't need to pass any data uh, in our block category i want to create another new page as a add okay that is a block category add so that is our page i want to create so in our block category folder into the block category folder i want to create another new file now click as a save as i hope friend now step by step everything is very clear to you and that will be the blade.php right and in our block category add so that will be just like only we need actually one field right so that will be only one field for the block category so better i copy everything from our portfolio add uh, from here i copy everything and now in our block category add here i paste it so right now we don't need any images script only one field will be enough like that is one of the form will be needed submit button will be needed and you can see that is all the row i remove it that is for our portfolio image description we don't need this we also don't need this only i need one field you can see there is one field and also if you want to display some of the error message you can display it so right now it's totally fine now i want to do to customize it that will be as a add blog okay add blog category category page and then i name it as a blog category okay that will be as a blog category name and our field name i want to use it our field name here as a block underscore category right i copy it that will be as a block category and if they have any error if you want to add some of the validation you can add this validation rather than then that will be displayed on the error message great and also i want to make it as insert add category insert category okay name it as a block category block category perfect so right now we don't need this data so that will be our in submit value perfect perfect so now also here we don't need to pass any multi-part form data right because here i don't want to upload any images which is totally fine but csrf token will be needed so now if you click as a save all okay if you click as a save all and if you now go to our uh, dashboard now click as a refresh now i want to do and to go to our add block category yeah you can see it's now successfully loaded but i want to put some of the gap uh, after this i want to put some of the bracket okay so then that will be actually add some of the space. I copy it and now if you click the save all, if you now go refresh it here, yeah, you can see it's now successfully displayed and then that is our add block category. So into this add block category, that will be very easy. I only want to do want to add some of the category, right? So if you want to do this work, now we have to store it. So that is actually our form. That is our total form and into this form area that have one of the method will be as a post method action i want to create a new action as a store block category okay store block category now we have to create our route and also route will be one of the post method now go to our web route into this web route i just simply copy it and paste it and then that will be which one that will be our store block category right i copy it you can see how much easy actually step by step now i want to develop it now there is a store block category i name it as a store block category and also to create another new method as a store block category so now i copy it 
now in our port that is our block category controller into this block category controller now to create another new method that will be as a public and then function and our method name as a store block category okay and also i want to do to make it as an and method i simply make it as an and method great great so into this area right now that is one of the post method right so i make it as a post method so when you pass any post method also we have to do have to make it as a request because we have to get that our requested data so that is a request and i make it as a dollar request great and rest of procedure will be just like that same if you go to our portfolio controller into the front of the portfolio controller you can see there is some of the validation better i copy everything okay copy everything there is our and method and is method is started from here i copy everything and now in our block category so they have only one field right if you want to add some of the validation or validation if you go i have already updated that name or name i name it as a block category so right now that will be as a block category i make it as a required okay so then now there is only one field and also if you want to make it as a customized message then you can display customized message right now that will be display as a block category name right i name it as a blog category category name is required so that is our simple validation okay and they have the image portions right now we don't have any image so right now it simply remove everything okay simply remove everything our model name will be needed our model name right now as a block category so now i want to do with our block category i want to add that insert method that will be insert this data right now there is only one will be enough and also if you want to add that created that you can add it right now it's totally fine right now our field name our database field name if you go our database field name as a blog underscore category so that will be as a blog underscore category and the requested id that means our requested field name as a block category right same name i simply copy it and now i name it as a block category great and then if everything okay it will be save this data it will be show that notification as a blog category inserted successfully okay and it will be display one of the alert message as a success as you can see friend when you actually understand every part then how much easily we develop it you can see now that is very simple one of the code application and then uh, when that everything will be done it will be written redirect to our which route i have already created our all page right i have already created our all page as a all block category i copy it then everything okay then that will be written redirect to the all block category with the notification our notification will be as a block category inserted successful right so friend that's all that's all you have to do okay that's all you have to do now let's check this out if you now click the save all i make first of all i want to check that our validation now if you go here now i refresh it now i want to make it as a empty click as a insert block category yes you can see block category name is required great now i want to insert as a facebook click as a add block category mm, you can see there is a block category inserted successful and if you go to our database now that should be new data inserted yeah you can see there is id one and the block facebook great and also i want to do and insert another one as a add block category and for now i want to add that laravel insert block is successfully inserted also want to add another one another one is a react okay I will use that as a react insert block category block category inserted successful i want to add another one as a whatever name you should choose i make it as a test okay test and then click as a add category is successfully inserted right now how much easily we inserted our category i hope friend it's very much clear to you so in our next video, I will complete our edit portion and then I will complete the delete portion. Okay. So how can do this work in our next video? I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching. I will see you in the next video.